So after unwrapping the unit, you will see all the following parts, including wheel box parts, back stays, fixing kit, shelves, and top of the unit. You will get your knob and rosette, your catch, your unit fixing screws, your securing pins for the wheel arch to tilt, and the wheel arch box screws. So within the bottom of the unit, you'll have the wheel arch parts, which include the wheel arch bottom, the wheel arch back, the wheel arch sides, this is where the security pins go, which will allow it to tilt, and the wheel arch front. So we start with the front, see that like that, facing down one side two sides so that's on the outside same on the other side Then all we have is we have one, two, three screws, and on the bottom, on the bottom, we have one, two, three, four screws, and then the same three screws on the other side. At this stage, we're going to put the catch assembly on, which includes the rosette and the knob. First thing to do is the rosette, a block of wood. Finally, we've got the knob. If that was pushed in, just simply push that out. Now, as I showed you before, these are the securing pins for the box. And push them in. So you're left with around 10 millimeters showing. And then the box sits on there, like so. So now we've got left, which is the wheel arch bottom, which has got the groove in, which allows for the catch to go into. Back stays in a fifteen hundred, and only one back stay in a twelve hundred. These will all be a snug fit. And finally, the top, which has two fixings. This is a flat top unit, but on a standard top unit, you'll have a top plinth, and that's what these two fixings are for. Some parts where they are slow fit may just want a little tap to get into location. Finally, place the opposite side pins in for the wheel arch box. As I said before, around 10 mil showing. Within a wheel arch fixing kit, we have the rosette. The rosette and knob and security pins which the box pivots on, the catch, unit fixing screws and wheel arch box fixing screws. Then in the standard fixing kit we have the unit fixings, two fixed shell valve brackets and the screws 
and also some nylon bushes. The nylon bushes are to go into the shelf on the underside like that and all this is for when the shelf is in position is to put a fixed shelf in the centre or within the fixing hole. So then finally we locate the opposite side, start off with a bottom pin and then work your way up. So then sometimes you just tap it into place and then all we're left with is six screws. So then we're going to do now fit them in. And then sometimes you just tap it into place and then all we're left with is six screws finish that unit. Here we are showing the unique 1500 unit. This is a 474mm wide shown for the Stanley organizer boxes. These units are available in a number of widths, depths and heights to suit all the standard toolboxes used. All shelf bottoms act as drawer bottoms with added components to make the shelves a drawer. Shown here is the standard depth at 380mm shelf. At this stage we have a standard height of a metre, 1200, With standard widths of 429, 474, 500, 529 and 629.